Is Canva becoming an actual legit design tool? I was quite surprised, but I think on this video, I'm actually going to go for the case of using Canva instead of InDesign. Let's talk about it. Hi, designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal and welcome to Flux where we cover design and the business of design. And today I wanna to talk about Canva. Now I was, seeing Canva grow as a company for the recent years. And I've always thought about Canva as this tool for marketers or people who are not really designers and they just want a simple tool to create, I don't know what, posts for social media or stuff like that. They can use templates and stuff like that. It wasn't considered, at least to me, and I think in general in the design community, it wasn't perceived as an actual legit design tool. However, a couple of weeks ago, we were working on a color ebook by the way, if you haven't checked it out, I'll link uh, below uh, this video if you want to check it out. It's a free ebook about color psychology. And we were collaborating on this with a writer who suggested using Canva for this. And I want to tell you, after collaborating and creating an ebook, and by the, uh, I'll show you how it was done here on Canva. Here's the the actual ebook that we created. I don't think that I'm going back to InDesign anytime soon. And I wanna explain why. First of all, a lot of the videos on this channel are about web design. So you might actually say to yourself, well, I'm a web designer. What, I don't need to do books. Like who, what is even InDesign? So I just wanna give you a little bit of context and why this might matter to you as well. So. I'm not doing a lot of print work myself, but as somebody who works with companies, I always help them do whatever it is they're trying to do. And a lot of time, in, as part of branding project, you might have to do things that are print related, whether it is collateral for their uh, pages or envelopes or sometimes business cards, you do have some things that you want to do for print. Now, you, yes, you can do them in Figma, but that's completely not optimized for print in terms of having things that you need for print like bleeds and the image quality and PDFs that are sequential and stuff like that. And so for that kind of stuff, for print related stuff, you usually use uh, Adobe InDesign, which is kind of the layout software. And I, I also know a lot of you know, professional designers who are using InDesign for their proposals, for their case studies, for their presentations, because at the end of the day, it's very easy to export kind of like slideshows and you have all the power of a professional design tool and you, again, you export a PDF or a presentation or whatnot. And so that's how I was using it as well. However, now that I see the power of collaboration and how collaboration Actually, you know, that's part of the reason why we all moved to Figma because it's so easy to collaborate on designs with other people and leave comments and stuff like that. And so while Figma is f very focused on, you know, designing for UX, UI, for screens, right? For uh, whether it's websites or app design, it's not very geared towards print, as I said. However, Canva is actually very much, it's pretty much, I would say Canva, like Figma, but for print. And it has, let me show you, it has all of the feature that you would expect from a layout software, such as uh, margins. And again, what we call in print bleed. And bleed is, if you're not familiar with print, it's you always have to print a little bit outside of the page so when the knife actually cuts the page, you know, uh, you don't have this uh, sliver of white. And so, and when you're exporting this and when you're actually downloading the PDF, it has all of the, you know, PDFs for print and everything that you need to actually make this work as a, as a print document. And so this is legit legitimately allows me to do not, not only everything that InDesign allows me to do, but moreover, it allows my writer who's usually doesn't have design software to go inside and put in the text and make adjustments and stuff like that. And of course, commenting and stuff like that. Before that, I would have to have uh, my clients send me either text or something like this. And I would have to do a lot of copy pasting. You know how much for years, every time my, like I've finished a project and then six months later, my <laughs> client would call me up. We have a new person in the company and we need a business card for him. So can you do that? Because 
you know, how would they, they don't, they can't create a business card. Now I've actually created a business card template for my clients. I basically shared the, the Canva file with them and all they have to do is copy paste the file and paste and change the details and they can save it to print and they can basically be their own designers Well, I gave them, you know, the template and Canva allows you to upload, upload custom phones and do everything that like a legit design software allows you to do. So, you know, I was talking about this with Matt, you might met, know Matt from, <laughs> from our channel and Matt, he's a professional designer. He's working with the biggest agencies, you know, in London, in the UK. And he was like, I uh, cannot tell, you know, the biggest design agencies, I'm gonna send you something in Canva because they, they're gonna think I'm a joke and I'm not a professional. So I can never use Canva. You know, it's, it's you know, what does it mean about me? I'm not gonna look up like a professional if I work with Canva, but I have to tell you, that I remember when I got my first job in the advertising agency, um, just when Adobe got in with things like Adobe InDesign and previously they were using Freehand and Quartz Express and all software and people didn't really, whenever there is a shift in the market, there is always a transition when a new software comes in and that happens the same when InDesign came in, that people don't believe that the old software is going to be replaced. They're like, no way, this is not professional. Everybody uses this. And I feel like right now, this is the transition that's happening right now. Adobe seems like it's staying a little bit behind and then Canva looks like a very easy in the browser. So it's cross platform, allows people from different departments collaborate with you and you're actually able to achieve custom design and everything you want to design you know, uh, as a designer. So while I do agree that Canva wasn't, I don't think that it was designed with the professional designer in mind, quite like Figma was, it is more geared, I think, towards marketer or people without design experience. It does allow the professional designer to do their work and then collaborate with other people, which I think is really, really interesting. So give it a try and let me know in the comments what you think about Canva. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>